The Guam Power Authority says the increase it will be seeking is the second in its two-phase plan to increase the base rate, and the additional revenues will help them improve the system island-wide. GPA spokesman Art Paris says while most would be opposed to any sort of increase, they will see a marked improvement in their service once all of the upgrades are completed. Up north in Central Party Island, about 49 percent of the, of, the, of the outages are due to generation uh, power failures. So we want to automate these controls, we want to lessen the impact these uh, outages have on our customers, and we want to improve the service that we deliver. Um, it's going to take us a couple of years to do it, but it's a step forward that we can reinvest back into our system. Paris says there will be fewer power outages, but the upgrades will also include other projects. We want to automate some boiler and generator controls to power plants so that we stop these intermittent outages that we've been having due to generation failures. Uh, this is most felt by customers in the central and northern part of the island. For southern residents, we want to focus into on more contractual tree trimming services, vegetation management. Uh, we were uh, in the village of Chalampa, or, or the Chalampago, Santa Cruz area this past week, clearing a lot of vegetation. We want to contract more of that work out for our central customers, central and southern uh, customers, and reduce um, uh, uh, much of the force outages that are occurring. Now, the Public Utilities Commission will hold a hearing on the proposed base rate increase, and if it's passed, it will be imposed on the 1st of March. But what does it mean to the average customer? 1,000 kilowatts equates to about $200, uh, $224. On a monthly basis, this increase uh, will equate to about 2.5 percent, 2.59 percent on your on the base rate portion side of your bill. That equates to about about five dollar, five dollar, about five some, five some increase on your monthly power bill.